In this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade to Windows 11, absolutely free, no USB needed. And if you don't like it after you upgrade, I'm also gonna show you how to downgrade back to Windows 10. It's all super easy, follow along step-by-step, step. let's jump right in. All right, open a browser and search for Windows 11 Upgrade Assistant. It'll be the first link. I'll also give you the URL. Note here it says you must be on at least version 2004 or higher. Now they should just note the build number there, which is 19041. So as long as your build number is higher than 19041, you're all good to go. If not, you'll need to run some Windows updates or download the latest version. All right, so if we look at settings about this PC, we'll see that I'm on 10 Pro 22H2 and that build number is 19045. I'll show you the chart of builds real quick and I'll also give you the URL for this, but just note that you need to be on at least 19041. All right, now open that link for the Download Assistant, and you're going to click on Download Now for the Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Once that's done, go ahead and open it, accept your UAC prompt, and it's going to say, Use the PC Health Check app to check compatibility. So go ahead and do this. You're going to click on Get PC Health Check app. That'll download. It only takes a second. Open that up, and we'll run through this wizard. So it's just installing a very lightweight application that's gonna ensure that your PC is ready for Windows 11. You gotta do check now, and it says this PC meets the requirements. So you can see all your results if you click on see all results, and that'll give you a quick little report. So it looks like this PC is in good shape. We're all ready to upgrade to Windows 11. Go ahead and close that out. And then you'll just need to refresh that and now you're off to the races to install Windows 11. So feel free to read through that. I know you all do every time and click install. And I'm gonna fast forward this because this will take a little bit to download and install Windows 11. We'll be back when it's done. All right, once it's done, it will kick off a reboot or prompt you for a reboot. So we'll go ahead and reboot and that'll take some time as well. And when it's all done, you should be logging into Windows 11. There you go. So note, I didn't have a lot of stuff on this PC, but you see Google Chrome is still installed. So any of your apps should still be installed. And if we check the activation, we are now on Windows 11 Pro and it is activated. So your activation carries over. You're not gonna have to buy a new key or anything like that. Pretty easy transition. Like I said, your applications will all carry over. They'll be installed. Windows 11 is actually built on the same code base as Windows 10. So I haven't seen any issues with applications not functioning on Windows 11. If you have some weird one-off application from a third-party vendor, make sure you check that first. Another thing would be like, you know, special devices that you're plugging in. Maybe you use like an MIDI device or a guitar or something like that. Just check your compatibility before you upgrade. But again, for the most part, I haven't really seen any issues upgrading from 10 to 11 as far as application function things carrying over, your profile is going to be there, all your files, all your folders, stuff like that. You should be all set. Now, for any reason you don't like Windows 11, or let's say maybe you do have an issue with an application, just search for recovery. You can also find this in your system under settings and recovery. Click on recovery options, and then you'll have an option for go back. That is good for 10 days. Just select any of the uh, reasons why you want to go back and click on next. It'll ask you a few questions like, are you sure you want to update instead? Maybe it'll fix your problems. Say no thanks. And then this will just give you some basically warnings, things you need to know. Go ahead and click next. Make sure you have your admin password. Click next. Thank you for trying Windows 11. Go back to Windows 10. So once you click on that, this is going to reboot your computer. It'll take some time, so I'll fast forward it, but it'll revert you back to Windows 10. And voila, there we are, folks. So same user profile, nothing changed there. All your files, all your folders are still there. As you see, Google Chrome is still up there working or installed, I should say. Uh, if we go to activation settings, same thing here. We went from 10 to 11. We were still activated. We went from 11 back to 10, and we are still activated, Windows 10 Pro. I'll just launch Chrome here. See, the applications are still functioning. I know it's not a huge sample size, but let's also take a look at the C drive here. Uh, there is no old Windows or anything like that, so it did a clean revert. Also, under the users, I have my same profile. There's no temporary profiles or additional profiles. So it's a pretty clean and straightforward revert process. 
just as the upgrade process was. So make sure you guys are taking advantage of at least trying Windows 11. If you have a Windows 10 PC, this is a super easy process to get you up and going on Windows 11. At least test it out, customize it, make it your own. I think there's a lot of good things in Windows 11. There's also some stuff that not a lot of people like. Take a look at some of my other videos, guys. I do make stuff about, you know, kind of de-bloating Windows 11 and turning off specific privacy concerns, settings, and things like that. So I'll link those here now and make sure you guys check those out. But yeah, let me know what you think about this. And again, you do have 10 days to revert back to Windows 10. So there's not a lot of risk there involved, but you are gonna have to make a decision come next year when Windows 10 goes end of life. So I think this is a good opportunity for you guys to kind of dip your toes in there, take a look at Windows 11. You can always revert back within you know a week and a half or so. So let me know what you guys are gonna do. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it was helpful for some of you. Let me know what your plan is. Are you going to test out Windows 11? What are you going to do when Windows 10 goes end of life? Hopefully you have a plan and if not, hopefully this video got you thinking about a plan because the last thing I want to do is see you guys running an end of life operating system and get pwned by some bad guy out there. All right, do me a favor before we go, guys, hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you're not aware, it's absolutely free for you, and it helps me out tremendous, tremendously. I am trying to grow this channel to 10,000 subs this year, so your help is very much appreciated. Thanks a lot, everyone. I hope you all have a great weekend and a great day. Until the next video, take care.